Right then, hello, good evening, welcome, good afternoon, good morning, good whatever it is, wherever you are. My name is Paul, I'm also called Knickknack, I'm the brains behind Knickknack's Daily Teaser, which is going to be floating around here somewhere. Just, a, hang on, just around there, okay. Um, I also watch the occasional movie, the last one I saw was um, Wonder Woman 1984, and I also watch TV shows. I'm a fan of Doctor Who, I like things with a sci-fi or fantasy bent, I like the occasional horror themed thing, and I like watching as and when I can and when I get the time. Just recently and over the last few weeks I've been watching Star Trek Discovery Series 3 and for the most part been enjoying it. Last night, however, on Saturday the, let me double check the dates there, on Saturday the 9th I managed to catch uh, episode 10 of Star Trek Discovery's third series. Episode 10 is, of course, Terra Firma Part 2. Terra Firma Part 2 begins with the usual summary of previous episodes and then moves on, showing us the mirror of Michael Bur Burnham, Sonequa Martin Green, being interrogated by Emperor Philippa Giorgio, Michelle Yeoh, and then dragged into the agonizer. Basically so that Captain Kelly, Mary Wiseman, can uh, do her thing. It's only after this bout of torture that Burnham seemingly, seemingly resents offering to help inform the Emperor about an attempted coup by her former lover, Gabriel Lorca, played in the original series of Discovery by, by Jason Isaacs. Seemingly help. Now, it's got to be said, and I'm possibly giving the show short, sh short shrift again there, but it's got to be said, I have a certain amount of mixed feelings about episode two of the Terra Firma 2 Barter. Um, on the one hand, again, it is as well made as CBS All Access knows how to do. It's shot well. The cast are on form and look like they're having a whale of a time actually making the episode. Everyone's playing their evil twin in this one, so being the villain is kind of fun. Um, if you can track down the footage of uh, Caroline Johns, Liz Shaw, in the third Doctor era of Doctor Who, talking about Inferno, you can see my point. Villains are fun, so it looks like they were having a whale of a time making this episode. And let's be honest... They love, and I know I'm possibly going to get flack for this phrase, but they love camping it up when they're a villain. And my God, everyone was camping it up. So in that sense, you could see there's a certain amount of fun being had in the episode. Um, again, it's well written. It's, it's beautifully plotted, beautifully written, nicely done. And... It's nice to watch. It sets up, or closes, I should say, the story well, and solves the problem part one of Terra Firma gave us, the problem of Philippa Giorgio's shock death, slow shock death. If we remember in part one, her bodyguard, her body is disintegrating and fritzing and, and doing all sorts of weird and wonderful stuff. But it's as a result of being adrift both from her own mirror universe and from her own time in either universe. Terra Firma Part 2 solves this by sending her back to the prime universe of 23rd century. In other words, from where the discovery is from. Um, I think... <sighs> this particular episode, Part 2 of Terra Firma, Terra Firma Part 2... Is actually a very chatty, talky episode. And I prefer my Star Trek to be a little more action driven. I expect to see a little more actioning bang for the bard. So a comparatively talky episode like this isn't quite my thing, at least as far as I'm concerned with Discovery. Picard did it a little bit better, um, which is understandable given the age. 
of the central character. You don't expect Patrick Stewart to go running up and down like he did in the original series of TNG. He's in his late 70s, bless him, so he's not going to be an action hero. So I expect Picard to be a little talkier and Discovery to be focused a little more on the action. Yes, I know you've got to have slow and fast episodes. I just prefer Discovery to have a little more action to it. This particular episode didn't have a lot of action. The other thing that kind of got me, and I've got to confess it's a mixed feeling still about this. We know that there's talk that Michelle Yeoh is going to be playing Philippa Giorgio in a, her own spin-off series. I'm looking forward to it. I absolutely think the character is wonderful. But I kind of miss the fact she's not going to be in Star Trek Discovery from this point forward. Most of the Discovery crew are... How do I put this? A well-meaning, touchy-feely character. And they're beautiful to watch and they all work together well. But I find that Philippa Giorgio is the much-needed bad girl in the, in the series. She's the fly in the ointment. I think sometimes every every TV series, I think, needs that, that one hand Solo-ish River Song Captain Jack type character that provides a contrast to the rest of the crew. In Star Trek Discovery, it's Philippa Giorgio. And they've taken her out of it. I'm a little disappointed in that, um, to be honest with you, which is possibly why I've got mixed feelings about this. Not seeing her in the, the episode, or not seeing her in the rest of the series, and this episode's relative lack of action. Like I say, I've got mixed feelings about it. And quite frankly, I want to see how episode 11, which I'll be watching next Saturday, it's called Sukal. I want to see how that episode works without the show's, one of the show's best characters. I'll be watching it next Saturday. I'll be writing about it and doing a video about it next Sunday. I'll see you then. Remember, check out my other videos, check out the playlists. Have a good day. Please hit subscribe. Enjoy your week.